Coach, uh, nice win for your team. Uh, it got a little bit scary there after the first couple of sets, but you know, kind of like I said in our pregame, you don't always want to go to five sets. You'd love to when you're down to nothing, but at the end of the night when you've won a five setter, a good learning experience and some toughness for your team here tonight. You couldn't have said it any better. Yeah, we uh, we were we were down on uh, down on our luck, and uh, and kudos to uh, Southern Utah. They really played well, controlled the ball so well, and we finally loosened up their serve receive a little bit as we went. But our kids, uh, one of the things we talked about was composure, because you never know what you're going to face, and and we did a nice job sticking it out, and with a little bit of controversy with the officials at the end. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I don't know. If put you on the spot but you talk about being composed and you had a call that didn't go your way that would have evened things up in that fifth set at 6-6 instead after the change call by the the refs after they had a little bit of a huddle you're down 7-5 but that didn't seem to phase the gals at all they came right back out and bang bang they scored the next couple of points yeah and that's the way you want to do it isn't it i mean you want to you want to take it onto the game and not and not just leave it up, you know, with an emotion and, and, and be constructive with it. So I, I, I really like what we did yeah, as a group. And I would have loved to play better early, but kudos to Southern Utah for coming out so hot. And, and I understand why they took St. Mary's to five last night. So, yeah, it's a good, very good win for us. <laughs> Pardon me, Coach. I'm holding off this bit of a head cold, but, you know, I talked uh, off mic before. I, I, I did go through the schedule from last year. Last year, <laughs> your team won three matches. Here we are eight matches in, and you've surpassed your win total from a year ago. That's got to feel pretty nice. It is, and, uh, and so much of it has to do with this group and their buy-in, and uh, we, we just really appreciate, and we as coaches love the challenge of having this group and working with them. Yeah, so it's it's so much about what the team's doing in our leadership. You go on the road next week, you play in a tournament, you'll play two neutral site matches, one true road match at Fullerton. What do you expect uh, down there in Southern California? Well, I, uh, Idaho's a really good club and we open up with them in both Fullerton and Riverside, uh, you know, our scrappy team. So, so for us, it'll be a chance to kind of uh, have a full squad. I think we're over some of our injuries um, and then and figure out where we're at, you know, with uh, all the compliments of our players and lineup. So uh, we're looking for a tune-up really for the WC schedule and we open up with Santa Clara that following week. So uh, it's a perfect weekend to travel a little bit good competition and, and build on what we've, what we've uh, created this momentum with. You, you know, for our fans watching here tonight, Frank, you mentioned that home match against Santa Clara. That's the next match here uh, on the Hilltop. So so sell us. Why are we buying a ticket to come out and watch the Dons of the Broncos? You know, our, our uh, ball control is so much better, and we've got this uh, energetic Italian Libro. She is awesome. And, and uh, it's a, such a great role model for young players. So come and watch them play. We have two great setters, you know, and just a good chemistry, you know, with our team and, and being able to play a competitive brand of volleyball on the Hilltop again. All right, Frank. Uh, savor the moment, enjoy the wind, and we'll see you here uh, on the 20th for the Dons and the Broncos to open up West Coast Conference play. Best of luck uh, down in Fullerton this weekend. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, that's USF second year head coach Frank Lavricia. The Dons win here tonight. They go to four and four. They're on the road the next three matches, and we'll see them back here on the Hilltop for the Dons and the Broncos on the 20th. That's a Thursday, 7 p.m. for the broadcast right here on the W.TV. For our entire broadcast crew and Don's head coach, Frank Lavricia, Pat Olson, thanks for watching. So long from the Hilltop.